What's up everybody? So today we're going to be taking a look at the Fortnite Legendary Series Max Level Ragnarok here. This guy has one of my favorite designs. Not, not like this, but we'll get to that in a second. I love the way this guy looks. So, as you can see, he's just kind of a generic naked upper torso with his nice tattoo. Nicely painted. Face looks good. Little scar right there. A little bit of blue on the top. These little, I guess, bands look really nice too. Wraps on the arms, nicely painted. Wraps on the hands. Paint on the belt buckle, always appreciated. Little fur on the cuffs of the boots. I love this guy just because of how just generic he could be if you're a customizer or anything like that. You can pretty much do what you want. I'll go through a couple of accessories before we start getting him all armored up. So first off, of course, you can pop the face. And you can add on more. More bearded, a little bit more hair. Switch it up. And you got this one, about the same hair, but a little bit more beard in this one, or less beard in this one, more beard in this one. I like this one. And then also, if you're so inclined, if you have any other random Fortnite faces, you can throw them on there. This one here is a sort of custom I did of Danhausen, who is a wrestler who's Awesome and amazing. Throw his bald head back on. He also comes with this harvesting tool. Nice translucent blue up here. Nicely painted. Looks like it's nice and weathered. I'm guessing it's cast in the brown and then they did the silver and this blue tip on there. That way if you need so you can stab some people. I also came with this gun. It looks like a gun. Kind of cartoony. Got a nice little camo pattern to it. Looks pretty good. Now, go over articulation for him real quick, and then we'll get him uh, armored up. So the head looks up pretty far, so he can act like he's flying. Looks down a good amount. You got your right and your left turn. No wiggle at all. Shoulders, got a butterfly. Goes forward that far, back that far, and up really far. And of course full rotation on that joint, bicep swivel, nice and swivelly. I'm guessing all these marks are from the armor. Double elbow. It goes up really far. Got yourself a hinge on the wrist. And that swivels. And of course, articulate your fingers. Which, still not a fan of, but they've kind of grown on me. It's part of the charm of this line, I think. For the torso, he goes not a lot forward, not a lot back, 
Not a lot of side, but he does twist up there. And he's got a waist twist as well. For the legs, they go forward that far. Back that far. Out that far, so he can do some pretty good Ragnarok kicks. Die swivel. Swivels. Double knee. It's kind of hung up, but still pretty good range. Still deliver some knees to the face of his enemies. Then we got boot swivel. And ankle goes back pretty far. Forward a little bit. And then it does rock back and forth. And then toe joint that seems kind of stuck. This goes up a little bit. Now comes my favorite part about this figure is you can kind of make him look how you want him to. If you want him to just look like generic Viking guy, bam, right there. Well, then he comes with all his different armor pieces, which make him look even better. So let's pop these hands real quick. Pop those. So you've got this nice chest armor. It's really nicely done to make it look Kind of old and worn and like it's seen some battle. And it attaches. Well, let's just go ahead and put it on him. Put your arm through. Put your arm through. And there you go. Just kind of lay that down first. And take this and just push it in. It's like he's just woke up and just started getting ready. <laughs> then we have this belt piece. Horn on the side. Gold, brown. More silver. Belt buckle painted nicely. Silver on the back done really well. I guess they could have done something to paint these, make them stand out a little bit, but not really a deal breaker. And this, just like any other belt, you wrap around, peg, hole, And there you go. Now we're getting somewhere. And it's got the cuts in the side, so you can still get the leg movement that you need without it popping all the time. Still might pop sometimes, but. And he has bandolier type thing. I don't remember which side's the front, which side's the back. I think this is the back. Gold paint, a darker brown on top of the lighter brown plastic. And to do this, just kind of go up. I don't want it, I want it like this. Over the head. And there you go. Now he's got his bandolier. He's got two of these gauntlets. And these just kind of slide on over those ones. 
I like to do the spikes on the outside. Of course, because, you know, if you're going to have spikes on, you got to have them on the outside so you can hit people in the face with them. He also comes with alternate hands. Nice little armor plate on there. Still have the articulated fingers, of course. And those you just kind of push in. One for each side. Next, let's do his shoulder pieces, which are marked right and left. So this is the right one. Let's kind of try to line up the hole. Shove it on. And then here's the left one. It's just more silver with that weathering on it. Looks like this guy has seen some stuff. Oh dear. Can't get it on. It's nice because you can have them kind of how you want them. If you want them fully up, you can do that. If you don't, you don't have to. And he's got these shin guards. Those, of course, marked right and left, too. And I dropped it. And those. Again, just find the hole. And you peg it in. One for each side. And he's got this cape. I like this material, don't know what it is, but it sits nicely on his back. Nice little details here with the silver on here. Those might be giant teeth, walrus teeth. I don't know, but they look cool. Maybe it's dragon fangs. Just plug that in. Then the best bit is his helmet. Because it makes him look like a ghost viking. You got the translucent blue beard. Nice little gold to the rings on the braids. Skull is done nicely. Looks like it's seen some stuff. And for that, you just scoop it on the head. This does kill a lot of the movement just because of the way it's shaped. And he looks cool. And there you have Ragnarok all kitted up and ready to go. Do some size comparisons. We got Fortnite Legendary Series Valkyrie. And Boss of Beef. Let's throw in Inverted Skull Trooper. And my boy Atlantean Fish Stick. See, he stands a little bit taller because of the, of course, the spikes, but still pretty good size. Move these fellers out the way. And this lady out the way. And let's put him in here with the Brawler series Meow Souls. And 
last but not least, we got good old Marvel Legends Taskmaster. And AEW Unrivaled Series Kenny Omega. So, yeah, this guy, really, really good. A lot of fun if you like Fortnite and actually know the character, use the skin. Or if you just like awesome-looking ghost Viking action figures. Really good overall. Well, thank you for watching. Hope you have a good day.